Excuse me, the, the thing that you to, to say is when you say area lights, area lights is where light is being emitted from an area instead of a spot. Spotlights are relatively easy to do, area lights are really hard to do. And the reason for that is it's essentially a whole bunch of spotlights. And so the way that the shadow, the way that reflection works, the way that shadow works, shadows are so soft and notice that there's so many different, different um, uh, essentially the accumulation of a whole lot of shadows, and that's why there's some soft shadows. Yeah, exactly. And, and in some cinematics, it's important to uh, control the shape and, and scale of the light so that you can control the shadows so that they fall where they, where the producer would like them to fall. That's incredible. Well, let's, see, let's take a look at another scene. See, so this is, this is shadows and lighting. Now this is reflection. So another thing that ray tracing is really good at is reflections. Uh, you can see them here uh, in the environment, uh, such as the elevator that we saw in that clip. And you can see the reflections on the on the stormtroopers, uh, as well as them reflecting each other. But to really show them off, we need to bring in something even more shiny. And uh, so look at this. This is reflections on reflections. Wow. Check out Captain Phasma's gun reflecting on, on uh, Phasma's chest right there. Do you see that? <laughs> reflections of reflections. So all those things have to be shaded multiple times, shading the primary surfaces as well as the reflections. That's what, one of the things that makes it really difficult. And, and these rays are bouncing all over this environment. These rays, every single one of those rays are bouncing off the environment, and every time it strikes a surface, it has to figure out, do I reflect, do I refract, do, am I absorbed, and how much is it absorbed? Where does other rays come from that I need to accumulate? And then it bounces off, and it goes to another place, and it strikes another surface. And then it strikes all these different surfaces. This light is bouncing all over the place as it strikes these surfaces, figures out what the rendering equation is at that moment, as it strikes that surface, accumulates it for the entire scene with all of these billions and billions of rays. This is how this is recreated. Now, of course, doing so would just take an enormous number of computers. And that's why film studios have supercomputers. That's why Pixar has supercomputers. That's why this will like magic has supercomputers. And they use these supercomputers to calculate these rays one at a time as it bounces and strikes these surfaces and creates this image. And the more reflections, the more refractions, the more ways that the light, the ray, can bounce before it's absorbed completely, the more reflections.